Hey, what's up? It's Bill the Timer Guy up here in Northern California. I recondition timers. And if you want to send me your old timer, I might be able to do something with it. Stuff like this, it's all busted up. You can see this one. It's got a special screw here holding it all together. Busted in here. Didn't come too good. Came in this box with a bunch of other stuff. Looks like it got bumped around quite a bit. Not packed very well. And this one actually has the end busted off. Can't really do much with that. Unless I swap one of my timers for it. But here's a typical dryer timer right here. Uh, it could be a GE timer, Whirlpool timer. Most of the dryer timers are like this unless they're digital. And you can see typically what happens is uh, there are two screws that basically hold this the face plate on. I normally take the face plates off and paint them. There are two screws that hold the face plate on and then these screws also hold that motor in place. And what I normally do, you can see this is marked. So that that gear right there is marked. And it had it marked there. And what I normally do is I'll mark it again here, wherever it's at, and put 110 to it. So I've got like a jumper wire I put directly to make sure that that thing's going to work. If your timer has a bad motor, normally it's just uh, more cost effective to buy a good used timer or a new timer rather than have to buy that motor. Because that motor is almost as much as you could find a good used timer on the internet. But if your timer still advances, you can look at your points, you can send it to me if you want. Or you can look at your points by yourself. These particular timers here, similar to this one here, typically will burn that set of points right up there on the top. This set of points right here, you can see this kind of charred. And sometimes it will actually burn that keeper and, uh, and you have to shave that keeper. There's a plastic keeper right here that you have to shave and uh, reform if it's melted. And you can see these points are pretty well toasted here. And so what I'll do is basically take it apart, clean these points with a little bit of sandpaper or emery paper, some fine emery paper. Then I'll close the tolerances. Basically, I'll put a little pressure on it, just tweak it back just a little bit, and then normally that gets them going pretty good. So these timers here, um, they are... Um, there's like a rivet that holds the points onto the back or the top of the timer. And that has to be drilled out in order to clean the points thoroughly and put new surfaces on if the tolerances permit. And so here is where we test the motor, the advanced motor here. These are the two terminals where we apply the 110 voltage and make sure that timer is advancing. And you can see, uh, some people they're not sure how to pull these timers out basically there's a pin inside here goes inside here this little hole that pin has to be pulled out and then you can take your uh, timer knob off and you can see for instance this one here apparently somebody did not know how to take that pin out of the back this pin is actually missing on this one and they didn't know how to take it out so they just busted it off that thing there I really can't do anything with and so and then you can see it's got busted up in shipping here cracks here they didn't ship it very well so uh, yeah so that's that's what we're doing right now I'm just I had to uh, I glue the uh, points back on the top and that's what I'm doing here I'm letting it set up and because uh, I don't have the factory rivets to rivet that back together and normally the uh, the automotive group will uh, hold that in place and so yeah I just rebuilt these timers here these are all dryer timers and they're all pretty much ready to go we tell we always test the motors to make sure they're advancing and then we test the continuity on the points that are burnt to make sure they're making good uh, contact and so that's your timer tip for today if you need your timer repaired you can contact me 
Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. 707-443-8347 Pacific Time, 9 to 5.